Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Have you ever wondered why pregnant women develop the mask of pregnancy, aka melasma or cloasma? Moreover, why do women who take oral contraceptive pills also develop symptoms similar to the mask of pregnancy? Have you ever wondered why? This is today's topic. In this playlist, we talked about why nagma is hyperchloremic and why hagma is normal chloremic. We talked about the fact that duodenal ulcers pain improves when you eat, but gastric ulcers pain gets worse when you eat. Have you ever wondered why? Why does multiple myeloma give you the low anion gap? And why does Lambert Eaton myasthenic syndrome has autonomic symptoms? unlike myasthenia gravis and in video number six we talked about why patients with the tragedy of fallow squat and reverse the flow today's video is a continuation to the previous one this fits with a topic known as physiological changes during pregnancy we have cardiovascular changes i have a video about this hematological changes during pregnancy respiratory changes gi changes hormonal changes and today's topic is about dermatological or skin changes that happen during pregnancy. This is expected. This is not a pathology. Skin changes during pregnancy could be subclassified into signs of hyperpigmentation and others. The signs of hyperpigmentation or darkened skin could be melasma or cloasma or the famous mask of pregnancy, could be linea nigra, which is a line in the midline of the belly. So here's the umbilicus right here, and there is a dark line called linea nigra. Sometimes it's linea alba, which is a whitish line. And sometimes it starts as linea alba and then becomes linea nigra. Moreover, many pregnant women experience darkened areola or the area of the breast around the nipple. Why does this happen? I'm gonna be brutally honest with you and repeat the same sentence that you read in a textbook ad nauseum. The exact cause of hyperpigmentation during pregnancy is not fully understood. But today, I'll just give you my own hypothesis. Do you remember the previous video when we talked about why did JFK have darkened skin? Yeah. Do you remember why? It was because of increased level of pro opiumelanocortin, which increases the level of melanocyte stimulating hormone, which increases the stimulation of melanocyte, causing hyperpigmentation. This is what happened to JFK. Today, I'm gonna argue and hypothesize that the reason women get the mask of pregnancy and the reason why people taking oral contraceptive pills develop hyperpigmentation is also due to increased pro opiumelanocortin and MSH. So the reason JFK got darkened skin and the reason pregnant women develop the mask of pregnancy and the reason they develop hyperpigmentation after oral contraceptive pills are all related, at least according to my hypothesis. We start in the hypothalamus, which stimulates the anterior pituitary, which stimulate different organs, such as the thyroid gland, adrenal cortex, and the gonads. Here's the hypothalamus and here's the anterior pituitary. Hypothalamus is going to stimulate the anterior pituitary. The anterior pituitary is going to secrete growth hormone to help you grow. LH and FSH for the gonads. In females, we're talking about stimulation of estrogen, progesterone, and inhibin secretion. So, who secreted LH and FSH? Anterior pituitary. Who secreted estrogen, progesterone, and inhibin? The ovary. The anterior pituitary secretes TSH, which goes to the thyroid gland to tell her to secrete T3 and T4 or thyroid hormone. ACTH is released from the anterior pituitary, which goes to the adrenal cortex to tell her to secrete cortisol and androgen. Let's make it more simple. Here's the anterior pituitary. Here is ACTH going to the adrenal gland cortex to tell her to secrete cortisol and adrenal androgens. Let's add another layer of complexity. Hypothalamus secretes CRH, corticotropin releasing hormone, which goes to anterior pituitary. Anterior pituitary secretes something before the ACTH. It's called the pro opiumelanocortin which will give you ACTH. At that same moment, the pro opiumelanocortin is also going to give us something called melanocyte stimulating hormone, which stimulates melanocytes to secrete melanin, and melanin will make my skin darker. Here's the adrenal cortex. Don't forget the zona fasciculata of the adrenal cortex secretes cortisol, 
which does what? Lots of stuff. It increases glucose by breaking down glycogen and by stimulating gluconeogenesis. It breaks down proteins and it alters the fat distribution throughout the body. It tries to break down the fat into free fatty acids. So it breaks down my fat in some areas of the body, but it builds up fat in other areas of my body, especially when it is so high. Here's the anterior pituitary secreting POMC, pro-opiumelanocortin. The pro-opiumelanocortin will give me two things, MSH and ACTH. ACTH for the adrenal, which will secrete cortisol, which will mess around with my sugar and with my fat and protein as well as MSH, melanocyte stimulating hormone, which will go to my melanocyte, tell her to secrete more melanin in my skin. Here is pro-opium melanocortin coming out of the anterior pituitary. As we have discussed before, pro means pre, before. Before what? Before opio, what do you mean? The natural opiate. Oh, natural opium. Oh, it's like the plant opium, but in humans. Yeah, it's natural, it's endogenous, it's called endorphin, and it's a painkiller, opio. And then melano, why? Because the pro is gonna give us MSH, which stimulate the melanocytes to secrete melanin. It's also pre -cortin. why? Because I'm gonna give you ACTH, which stimulates the adrenal cortex. Under normal circumstances, the amount of MSH that comes out of the anterior pituitary is negligible, having no physiological effect, relatively speaking. But if we have a condition or a pathology where POMC is super duper high and MSH is super duper high, I can get darkened skin, hashtag hyperpigmentation. Here is the lovely POMC coming out of the anterior pituitary, which give us ACTH and MSH. ACTH is going to the adrenal cortex for cortisol and androgens. MSH going to melanocytes for melanin and hyperpigmentation. Now, do you remember what happens in pregnancy? Yeah, we are secreting too much estrogen. True, okay, which means we're secreting what before estrogen? FSH and LH, where did they come from? From the pituitary. The pituitary, when it gets super duper active, and it increases in size, usually the pituitary doubles in size during pregnancy, it's not far-fetched to imagine that the pituitary is secreting too much POMC and too much MSH, and this is the reason behind the mask of pregnancy, at least in my stupid butt opinion. Hey, Medicosis, uh, why do you think uh, pregnant women experience changes in appetite? It's here, you see that POMC? Yeah. Another POMC is also secreted from the hypothalamus in the aqueous nucleus, and this is the satiety center. It decreases appetite or alters appetite, and it increases energy expenditure. So this POMC, the same one related to hyperpigmentation, can also be related to appetite, depending on the enzyme responsible for breaking it down. So JFK had a problem with the adrenal cortex, therefore less cortisol was being secreted. When cortisol decreases, the anterior pituitary gets mad. Why aren't you listening to me? I'm going to secrete lots of POMC and therefore more ACTH and more MSH. MSH causes hyperpigmentation. It's the melanocyte stimulating hormone. By the same token, during pregnancy, the anterior pituitary is super duper active, secreting tons of FSH and LH and tons of POMC. POMC will increase ACTH and cortisol. That's why during pregnancy, there is changes in fat distribution all over the body and increase glucose. Don't forget that cortisol is diabetogenic. Have you ever heard of gestational diabetes? Yeah, I'm not lying to you. POMC in the hypothalamus can alter my appetite. POMC increases MSH causing hyperpigmentation. This is the reason behind the melasma or cloasma or the mask of pregnancy. This is the cause of the linea nigra and this is the reason behind the darkened areola. Again, this is just my hypothesis. But hey, medicosis, why do the same symptoms of hyperpigmentation appear in patients taking contraceptive pills? Easy, let's go back to square one. How do oral contraceptive pills work? They trick your body. What does that mean? They contain estrogen and progesterone, okay? If your body is receiving estrogen and progesterone from outside, your body will stop making endogenous estrogen and progesterone from the inside. 
As a result, the pituitary will get mad. Why aren't you listening to me? The pituitary will send more FSH and LH to the ovary, trying to tell the ovary, hey ovary, you should secrete more estrogen and progesterone. But I don't need to, I'm getting them from outside. So shut up, pituitary. The pituitary cannot help herself. She will secrete tons of FSH and LH and POMC, because this is a pituitary getting active and these cells are closely related. This will increase ACTH and cortisol from the adrenal cortex and I will also increase MSH causing hyperpigmentation in people taking oral contraceptive pills. Also oral contraceptive pills will give you abnormal fat distribution. I was watching the two comedians known as the Hodge twins talking about this issue and I quote, Keith Hodge said, I heard about the effects of these contraceptives on women. I heard they get swollen like wildebeests. To which Kevin Hodge responded, Yeah man, I remember my wife before taking contraceptives. Her face was round and contour, but after taking them, now her face is as round as a basketball. Abnormal fat distribution. Terrible jokes, I'm sorry. The only reason I say them is that they're gonna help students remember better so that they can help flesh and blood human beings in real life. That's the only purpose of joking on this channel. If you want more knowledge and more jokes, check out my endocrine pharmacology course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. I'll even teach you how to calculate insulin doses. And for a limited time, you can get a 30% discount towards any course on my website. Just use discount code PANCREAS. May your pancreas never run out of insulin. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.